Hello, my name's David Chapman from H Tarts. Today we're going to be learning how to use a bow drill. This is the bow we'll be using today. It's a leather thong on a hazel stick. This is the flint drill we'll be using today. It's a piece of flint glued into a hazel stick, glued in with tree resin and beeswax. This is the copper drill we'll be using today. Once again it's made of hazel. This is the bearing block and it fits onto the end of the drill like that to allow it to run freely. This is just a little hold fast to hold the bead while we're drilling it. So we're going to drill the shale bead. So we'll start off by using this as a hand drill, pushing downwards as I'm rotating the drill. And that started to bead off nicely. To thread the drill into the bow, we put it through there once, and we take a loop around like that. And it should just just be tight enough not to want to move in the in the thong. So we'll put that into the shale and we'll put the bearing block on top. This is the rise of the machines, so we can really start using machines as the first part of the time. We shape using a sandstone block. To adjust the tension on the bow, all it needs to do is you need to move that knot up or down to make it tighter or looser on the drill. This doesn't need to be too tight, you, it just needs to hold the drill securely. The drill will we use as a file and take a few scrapes off either side. It's sharp enough to work for the ages. The flint drill will last quite a long time but may need some little bits flaking off the edges to sharpen it. So we've got a piece of raffia. We just put a knot in one end. Put it through the, through the hole and loop it round. That way the bead lies flat across your, against your chest. This is a finished bead. This can then be decorated um, with lots of different designs.